Hello and welcome back to another HitFilm tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can add an explosion to your footage inside of HitFilm Express completely for free. This method will work for both a locked off shot that is filmed on a tripod or if you're standing insanely incredibly still or if you've got a moving camera. As long as you're Id able to identify an object in that frame to track it then it works. So if it's super motion blurry then you might have a couple of problems but overall it should work. Let's get on with this tutorial. Okay so what I have got in my media tab today is the explosion that I rendered out inside of Blender. You can find this in the description of the video. I made this the other day and uh, I don't know how realistic it is. Well it's not very realistic but it, it works. It looks quite cool. Um, and then I've also got some footage, which is just a video of a field. So basically the process for this is you track an item in your scene, and then you attach your explosion to that point that you have just tracked. This means that then, if you have a scene where your camera is moving, then the explosion will move with that, creating the illusion that the explosion is actually in the scene. So the first thing that you want to do is grab your footage and kind of just cut out the chunk that you want. I chose this section here which goes from the start uh, to like 3 seconds and 16 frames. So what I'm going to do is just drag and drop this onto the timeline down at the bottom of the screen. And then I'm just going to swap back over to the viewer. And I'm now going to right click on this and select make composite shot and I'm just going to leave everything else the same. And now we're inside of a new composite shot, and this is where we're going to do all of the explosion stuff. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the green plus next to tracks. Then I'm going to identify an area in the frame where I want to track. I'm going to go with this clump of grass that's up at the back here. Then I'm going to go back to the start of the timeline and just reposition this. And then I'm going to hit the track forward button. And then I'm going to create a new point layer. And this is where all of this transform data is going to be moved over to. So I'm going to, under the layer setting, I'm going to change this to new point. Then I'm just going to hit apply. Then I'm going to go back over to the viewer tab. And then as you can see, the point moves with the footage, which is what we want to see. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my explosion. You can grab this from the description and then you can use it in your own project. Uh, if you do use it then let me know because uh, I'd be interested to see what you make. But then I'm going to just parent this explosion over to the new point and as you can see the explosion is moving with the camera so now it's just a matter of positioning it over where you tracked. So there are a couple of things that you might want to do to just help blend this in. For one, you might want to add a glow because I mean, it glows a bit, but you might want to just make it pop a bit more. So under the effects tab, search for glow. And then just drag and drop this onto the explosion. And that's very bright. So you might just want to turn down the intensity. All of this is personal preference and however you want your explosion to look. Something I'm just going to add is a motion blur effect. Just going to drag and drop that on. And I'm then just going to apply a normal blur. No, a normal lens blur. Then this can have a fairly small radius of something around 5. Maybe actually less than 5, maybe something more like 3. Yeah, 3 works.
Then I'm also just going to add some light wraps. And I'm just going to drag and drop this onto the explosion. And then under the source layer, I'm going to set this to the footage. This will just blend the edges of the explosion and smoke with the actual background sky layer. This will just help bring it all together. If you have other stock footage like dirt blasts and stuff, then you could composite them in to just really add to to just really add to this explosion. Something I'm just going to do is create this new grey layer, and as you can see I've just keyframed the opacity from 0 to 100, and then from there I'm just going to leave it. And what I'm going to be adding to this is some heat distortion. However, I'm also just going to grab the, the circular mask tool, and I'm just going to create a fairly large area for this. Then I'm going to keyframe the transform of this mask for position and scale, I'm going to start it out fairly small. And then I'm going to move ahead and make it bigger. And that's right. And then under the settings for the mask I'm going to increase the feather strength and then under the effects tab I'm going to search for heat distortion and I'm just going to drag and drop this onto the plane layer no grade layer there are other effects and things that you could add to this to help sell the effect add a plane layer which flickers over the top of it that just helps make the camera seem like it's been blown out by it so I'm just going to add that now by creating a new plane layer I'm then going to set this to a fairly bright yellow close to white and I'm just going to call this yellow plane all I'm going to do for this is start it off when the explosion begins and then I'm going to keyframe the opacity to start at zero then move ahead by a couple of frames and just set it to something around 25. And then once the bulk of the explosion is over, then I'm going to lower the intensity. Right, and then I'm just going to keyframe the position and scale to follow the explosion over the course of this video. It doesn't have to be the most accurate thing in the world, uh, because it's just meant to be almost as if your camera sensor was blown out by this explosion, and ignore all that terminology I just used because I don't know whether that was correct. I'm also just going to add a glow to this plane, just to once again help not blow glow. Just to help tie this all together to make more of an explosive look. Okay, so I hope you found this tutorial useful, and if you did, then please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any ideas for future tutorials or any questions, then please tell me down in the comments below, and I will try to help you out or respond to them. Once again, there will be the download link for the explosion that I rendered out inside of Blender, uh, so you can go grab that and use it in your own projects. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Goodbye.